Introducing RS30 Ultra. The first sim racing wheel and pedals designed by a professional championship racer. RS30 brings next level realism to your racing sims. Sense the road, know your vehicle, and get faster lap times as you tear through the track. Dual helical gear motors give you more torque than traditional gear drive motors with the same smoothness and quietness of a belt drive motor. Experience a stunning six newton meters of torque, the most torque per dollar than any other wheel, and fast, accurate feedback with zero dead zones. Feel every nuance and know exactly when you're understeering, oversteering, or losing traction. Spring-loaded pedals give you responsive throttle modulation and brake progression for absolute control and precision, just like the real thing. Two additional pedals can be used as clutch and e-brake, or as pedal-free throttle and brakes. A rotation switch lets you easily toggle between simulation racing and arcade-style racing. Even the diameter of the wheel is calibrated to exact race car specifications. From the metal build to the suede wheel and steel pedals, every detail is dialed to give the entire system a high-end feel. Get better, go faster, win more, and enjoy every second of it. With RS30 Ultra, you'll race like a pro and feel like one too. RS30 Ultra by GTR Simulator. Go fast. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Rallycross GT and to Flat Out Racing League. My name is Kurt Dunninger, and I will be your host today. This is round eight, and we are in Australia, Mount Panorama, Bathurst, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's pretty dark on the screen, as you can see, or can't see much, isn't it? Uh, it's a midnight race today. It's pretty dark here in... Um, in the track so I hope that you brought your night goggles or you have uh, special lights fitted on your car because you need it you would definitely need it so it's almost top of the hour we're gonna be starting here with the amateur division in uh, in a couple of minutes I'm just gonna take you guys through the current standings for amateur So here we have um, Sweaty Palms, the championship leader with 61 points, He's got a good advantage there to uh, Morin in P2 with 46, about 15 points difference. Uh, it's more than a win actually, wow, there's quite a, quite a substantial difference. And then we have Barry in P3 with 42. Matt Kovo, who started three rounds late in the season, is in P4 with 39 so he is a contender for a podium finish today uh, Sorry today no, in the in the whole season So let's see what he can do Mac Ovo. He's uh, he's a fast guy in the um, In the GTR then we have progenitor Yoni Jay Seward King Yak Jesse and Mrs. Morph completing the top 10 we already have the Sakin Yak here in the chat. AAA round A, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you are definitely the hypest person in the whole division, the whole league. Progenitor showing up as well. Man in the chat, but not in the race. <laughs> well, you know, it's easier to be just in the chat. Sometimes you can be out partying, uh, but you know, you can't party with the PlayStation all the time. Some of our drivers, they are out uh, on holiday. Apparently, there's some sort of holidays in the US in North America a lot of drivers are out today but the show must go on the race is going to proceed as expected night down just showing up here good luck to all the drivers today thanks mates welcome to flat out racing league this is round eight and we expect a lot of carnage here 
at night in Butthurst because you can't see absolutely anything without the lights. Fortunately, this is not Dirt Rally 2.0 because if you pick up too much damage in Dirt Rally, uh, your lights will break and you, you cannot see anything. You really cannot see anything. There are a few tricks that you can do as a driver to uh, get around that, which is uh, putting the gamma settings in the game to maximum. So then uh, you're able to see better in the dark. Uh, it's going to help in the dark, but on, on uh, well lit places, then it's going to be very, very difficult to see. So you need to find a sweet spot uh, for that. Who else do we have here? Stacking next, and I can't chat, but you're three, 300 miles away. Woo, where are you, mate? Where are you? No party, just really had a business venture from a business I see so you're out working then fair enough you know you need, we, we need to pay the bills you need to pay the internet so we can be here playing the game later isn't it so just a few more minutes uh, before we can start how many drivers we have here we have seven seven people in the lobby uh, plus me so a few more rating to get the car on the track. It's 10 o'clock here in Japan. That's the top of the hour. We should be ready to start. So we should be ready to start. Moran has not put the car on the track yet. So just waiting for him to put the car on the track and we can go. I can hear the engines, I can hear the people are already out on the track, qualifying is underway. We go in until 20 there in the bottom left of your screen, just gonna send the message here. So 10 minutes of qualifying, every time I press 0 on my keyboard it does put uh, some weird stuff in the chat, but just ignore that please. So we have our championship leader Sweaty Palms coming down the hill. Oh you can see the brake discs glowing quite nicely here in the dark. We can see the liveries. Uh, so fortunately we have the names on top of the cars, we can identify them, but look at that view, it's absolutely beautiful here in Australia at night, Mount Panorama. Let's hope that the drivers find the race not too challenging for them. So Sweaty Palms first one out on track, we have Matt Kovo here, the challenger fighting to get into the um, overall podium. Mr. Smurf in the GTR, it would be really tricky to tell who is who like this. But it doesn't matter. Smoke and Holt now coming down the hill in his Lexus. Remember, Smoke and Holt started the season in the old school um, NSX, naturally aspirated in a sea of turbo cars. Uh, wasn't doing so well, but. Um, yeah, he finally managed to score his first points a few races ago. So, yes, indeed he was a car, not a driver. Moran managed to show up today. That's good stuff, Moran. Giving way to the faster guys because he's in his outlap. He does not want to slow anyone down. We have the progenitor here in P7 just crossing the line now and... Um, Open his fast time. We haven't seen Barry, who's here in P2 at the moment, going super close to the wall as he comes up the mountain. Let's just see if we can see all drivers. Yes, we have seven on track here. This is the very important bit. We have seven here. We have seven on track here as well. So sometimes the game will show a different number and uh, that's when we know we won't be able to start the race uh, properly. 
So stacking neck hazing Seattle. Wow, that's pretty far. Well, it's actually close, quite close to me if you think about it. You know, because I'm in Japan and uh, just the Pacific away. I'm not sure which one will be closer, crossing the Pacific or crossing the whole U.S. If you are East Coast going to West or vice versa. But anyway, sweaty palms coming down the pit straight. Too close. His first fast lap. You can see the color of his car now. Because there's a little bit of light here. It's beautiful orange NSX. And there's a 140, uh, 154. Barry is coming now. He's going to put a 56.9. And Makovo, the third one, coming down in third. I think everybody's going to slot in pretty much this order. Ooh, Smurf uh, slotted in ahead of Oval. That's interesting. So what's going to be curious about this race... You know, we know the pace of some of these guys, like Ovo is one of the fastest guys here in the division. But racing at night is a whole different gig. Uh, it's all about consistency, it's all about being uh, quite cautious as well. Not to commit mistakes and uh, bin it from the start, isn't it? So, let's see how the guys are going to do. Progenitor is in in P5. Seven seconds ahead of Smoke and Holt. And Moran has not set a time yet. So he's there in P7 at the moment. Let's go with Moran here and see what they can see. Um, so this is the view from the driver's seat. Um, this is what you can see here in Mount Panorama. Driving this late at night. It's not easy. I think the guys here are quite skilled. They should survive, I hope. Most of them at least should be fine. Coming down the corner straight into the chase. Yes, I just pulled up the track map so I know the corner names. Here is more at the chase now. Left, right, to Murray's corner, and then into this pit straight. That's it, his lap time. That is a 56 6, puts him in P2. That's not bad. Not bad at all. We still have sweaty palms with the pole position with a 53 4 now. He has a. Um, improved his time even further so he's not the championship leader for nothing isn't it not sure if you guys know there is a ufo in this track at some point let me give them the five minute uh five minute warning five minute left in quali so there's a ufo somewhere in this track it appears in uh snatches a cow. I wonder if at night like this we might be able to see it better than in the day. Um, I haven't tried to find it to be honest. I, I've heard on Reddit that there is a UFO but I didn't really bother going to find it. And Sweaty Palm's going even quicker, six tenths quicker as he comes down the chase. He's probably gonna get into the 52s there. Stacking next hand. This is a hard track already. <laughs> At night, yeah, it's it's um, it's not for everyone. You're lucky that you're you're missing out on this one. 52-4, 52-4. Sweaty palms is flying. More and coming down the chase now. Sorry, uh, corner straight. Now into the chase. It's going to be a very good point for overtaking and a bit of carnage, maybe. You see the reflection of the rear lights on the underside of the spoiler? That's quite cool, isn't it? It's very nice um, details here in Gran Turismo. Uh, Barry is in P3 at the moment. Uh, 
just reset actually. He went to the pits, so I don't know what his lap time was. But he's four and a half seconds behind Sweaty Palms. Ouch. Sweaty Palms certainly put down the, the practice time. Makovo uh, nudging the barrel. You could see the sparks there. You don't need broad daylight to see when someone's in the wall here. And who's right behind him? That's Morin. Morin's right behind Makovo. Makovo puts to the side. That's Morin through. Uh, and this is our first race since the update uh, 1.20 or well 1.21 now, right? Because they had some bug fixes. And uh, the damage system has changed and the tire wear also. Ooh, a bit of contact between Ovo and I think it was Mr. Smurf. I'm not sure if Ovo um, tried to like hit the brakes a bit too early, but ended up in the wall, picked up a hell lot of damage there uh, at the skyline. So damage the engine. So lighter contacts now will will give you damage to the car, and the damage takes longer to wear off, uh, from what I heard and from what I've noticed. And uh, it's actually a lot harder to drive as well with uh, with damage to the wheels or to other parts of the car. So you really want to stay clear of the walls if you can, if you can. And uh, in terms of tire wear, apparently racing in uh, heavily worn soft tires is nowhere near as bad as it used to be anymore. You can still go quite fast even on a. Uh, 50% worn tires. So that's quite interesting. Uh, quite interesting updates in the game. Uh, it shakes up pit strategies quite a bit. Now you're not really encouraged to uh, pit early anymore, right? Since uh, staying out on worn tires is not so bad. Right, one minute remaining actually. Some of the drivers are already pulling into the pits. So most of the drivers are already pulling into the pits, selecting their starting tires. Remember, softs and mediums are mandatory, so it looks like the bottom four drivers here will be starting on medium tires. Well, not bottom four because Sweaty Palms is the pole position, actually. But he's already into the pits. So just Ovo who is improving his time. Four, four tenths uh, down. He's into the S's now. There he is in the helicopter cam. Into the dipper. There he goes to the forest elbow and to Conrad straight. Let's see if he can improve his time any further. Let's see when he hits the sector. Here are the crests. One second down almost. That's pretty good. Morin just closed his lap with a 54.6. That's not bad. Not a bad time at all. We're just going to wait for Ovo. And we are ready to start. Coming down. Morris corner into the straight. The time is going to be 56-2. Right. It's a decent improvement. He's gonna change his tires. He's so gonna put mediums as well. Right, so everybody is starting on medium tires. Right, just a word for race control. We are ready. We're ready to start. Seven drivers here today is a bit of a smaller grid. But the show is about to start. Drivers are lined up here at the start line, side by side. 
ready for Hell's Corner. Turn one here in Man Panorama. And it's race time. Morn with the pole position for some reason. Oh no, he starts on the outside. Morn was P2, but they switch positions, isn't it? So Sweaty Palm is on the inside. Managed to get the best of the start there. Just doing a quick reset off the camera. And he already managed to shoot ahead with Barry. Snatching P2 from Morin. Followed by Ovo, Smurf, Progenitor and Holt. As they come into the uphill. To the cutting. All very close to each other. Uh, actually Sweaty Bomb is managing to gap everyone already. Morin trying to find a space around the outside. Barry spins. Barry spins. Did, did he pick up damage there? A little bit to the front. I didn't see a yellow flag, so maybe the guys behind didn't know that he was uh, out on the track. But Barry spins there trying to defend from Morin. And uh, falls down to P5. He's only left one of 22. So he has still got chances to uh, redeem himself. And now we have Mr. Smurf also in the wall after the asses. So struggling there, Mr. Smurf also picked up a little bit of damage. And Smoke and Holt also with uh, a little bit more damage in the uphill. He's quite far behind, 30 seconds back. So he's gonna, gonna have a little bit of uh, work to do. Sweaty Palms are ready with a 3 seconds gap in P1 with the NSX, the championship leader who's got at least one win advantage to P2. He's uh, consolidating here his uh, position at the top of the table. Big chances of becoming champion there with maybe two rounds anticipation. Morin in P2 and he's got Ovo right on his neck. We are on board here with Mac Ovo. Let's see what he can do. Let's see how he chases Moran. They're coming down here the mountain straight to the quarry. Very late on the brakes, almost contact. It's tricky to uh, judge the braking points uh, with the lack of light here. But there are too many corner names, corner names in this part of the track. I'm just gonna call this the the hill, the uphill. As it come there to the top of the skyline, the highest point of the track. You see that blue dot in the middle of the screen, uh, the glowing blue dot. That's the the center point of Ovo's steering wheel you can see the amount of work, amount of inputs that he needs to do to keep the car uh, from going off track here at Mount Panorama. Oh, Moran makes a mistake! Moran makes a mistake there at the exit hits the wall and picks up some engine damage. I'm very curious to see, to, to hear what happened to him because he was already on the straight line, he was already out of Forest Elbow. I'm not sure if he picked a bit of grass or something. But going really slow with engine damage and loses P2. So, not a great start of race for the, um, for the host of Flat Out Racing League. Um, more on the guy that started Flat Out Racing League, he loses a lot of time. And now Mr. Smurf and Progenitor are catching up with him. Actually, Morris is pulling into the pits. I think uh, something must have come up at home and he needs to uh, pull to the side. Which is a shame uh, because he's fighting for, uh, fighting for a podium. That's not very good for his uh, championship ambitions. Smurf and Progenitor now in battle for P. As they come up the hill, Smurf into the in uh, Smurf in the GTR with Progenitor in the NSX. 
We know most uh, GR2 races in uh, daily races or manufacturers or, or rather uh, Nations Cup. Everybody picks up the GTR, seems to be the fastest car, but it's good to see people representing the NSX and the Lexus as well, but especially the NSX, which is my favorite car. Uh, seeing the top of the championship, it shows that um, it can still win races. Also, that maybe it's slightly more balanced in GT7 than it was in GT Sports. GT Sports, uh, the GTR 2016 was pretty much um, unbeatable. Progenitor unable to close the gap on uh, Mr. Smurf, uh, remains 1.5 seconds. It's buried there, inherited P3 from Moran. It's gonna help him in the championship. Uh, Barry, who is uh, actually four points behind Moran in the championship standings, he needs uh, a good result here to still fight for fight for points. Uh, and actually thinking out loud, uh, with Moran getting a poor result in uh, in this race, Sweaty Palms might be mathematically. The champion actually we do have one more round to go so if it was just really two rounds I think he would be champion already but there's a third round so round five we had to postpone down to connection issues uh, so we have three rounds left after this one so that is about 45 points to play for uh, if sweaty palms wins this one he's gonna open like 25 30 points gap to P2, and that's uh, that's more than you can get in two races. So, Sweaty Palms pretty much got this one in the bag, but it's not over until it's over. You know, maybe he might miss out in a few races, he might have a very bad race, crash the car. It can happen because we have Spa and Nurburgring ahead. Uh, Two very long tracks in Spa. I heard there's gonna be a rain forecast for two weeks from now. So um, you never know. You never know what might happen. So Sazi Palms giving a masterclass of driving in the dark here today. He is improving his time lap after lap. A little bit over now, but still within the 54s every single lap. While Ovo is only doing 57s. Oh, we're going to 56 now. Barry had purple sectors earlier on, but um, unable to maintain the rhythm. So the only battle that we have here is between Smurf and Progenitor. So let's uh, let's watch them a little bit. Let's go on board with a uh, passenger seat here with Progenitor. It's so dark you can't even see the driver. Let me go to the onboard camera again. Does he have the light? He does not have the the blue dot like uh, Ovo is in the GTR, right? Yeah, the GT. Oh. And Progenitor is out. We caught it here on camera. He's trying to reset the car. Big up damage to the front and the rear. And allows Mr. Smurf to get away in front. But as we were saying there, he doesn't have the center point on the steering wheel. Uh, like the GTR and the fire coming out of the, the exhaust there that's the anti-lag that this uh, GT500 turbo cars have the uh, the old GT500 they don't have uh, they're not turbo they are uh, naturally aspirated so no anti-lag for them either so no not fire breathing machines like this ones looks pretty cool at night like this I think he would do some um, Great photographies after the race. Smoke and hold in P6, 24 seconds behind Progenitor. 
but he's being able now to uh, get a two minutes lap a bit more consistent a bit faster than he was before but he should be able to finish this race and pick up a few points at least which is very important for him in the championship so smoke and hold uh, he was in last place we now have JW Elite who uh, is not racing today so Smoking Holt was in last place with uh, a couple of points he's gonna get here for P6 that might put him in front of a few people so that would be very good for him not finish last in the championship Yak here talking about his man Mr. Smurf where is he he's here in P4 So he's here in P4 and uh, 14 seconds from Barry, that's quite quite a distance. Uh, it will be difficult for him to, ch to, uh, to close his gap as we have 6 laps completed. Well, 5 laps completed, we are in 2 laps 6, right? Uh, but it's a long race and uh, it's dark. I think we're gonna see more mistakes as the race progresses uh, I just don't know if the mistakes are going to be from the front runners or not Mr. Smurf is going to get third position you think he's going to get Barry? I don't know you're usually quite good with the predictions uh, Mr. Yak so maybe maybe Mr. Smurf can get Barry that would be a bit of a turn of events wouldn't it? Oval getting to the 55s now, he's getting a little bit more comfortable here in the dark. Well, sweaty palms all by himself, still clocking 54s, but if you looked at in lap 5, he had a 57, so uh, sweaty palms is not infallible. He had, a, he had a moment there and lost 3 seconds. All it takes is one big mistake. Um, well, after the update, is that doesn't even have to be that big. You damage your engine, and then I think Oval can catch up. So Oval is a driver here with everything to gain, literally, because a strong result here with Morin, pretty much with a, it's not a DNF. Uh, per se because he's in the track but it's finishing P7 uh, because it's a smaller grid he's still gonna get points so that's good for him but Ovo's gonna get a decent chunk of points and then for the final three rounds the battle for the for the silver and the bronze is going to be proper proper tight Getting quite fast now, 1.1 seconds down, so he's gonna get into the 54s. He's coming around the chase now. Let's see his lap time. Remember they're still on uh, medium tires. They're gonna put softs later on. And that's a 54.4. That is a very good time from Ovo. Uh, that could have been, well, it was almost a, a fast lap, the 54-2 from uh, Sweaty Palmas early on, but he just put a 54-0. Uh, so Ovo now has got more work to do, but good to see that he's now getting to the 54s. Looks like he's finally uh, woken up or got a more comfortable with the lack of light that we have here today. Barry's got a lap at 2 minutes, so... and another 57. So probably a few small mistakes in this, this past few laps. Well, Yak, you were saying about uh, Smurf getting him. Maybe, you know, maybe. But mate, if you're on a business trip, you must be in a hotel, so surely you could have uh, 
brought your PlayStation, just put it at the hotel TV and uh, raising the controller. So you don't miss out in the, the championship. Mr. Smurf just clocked his fastest lap today at 56.5. I think all drivers seem to be improving. So Morris now out of the pits. That is nice to see him back into the race. But he's gonna be several laps behind. Several laps behind. Smoke and hold 59.1. He's also getting faster and faster, which is cool. Coming the uphill here. And there is more. Morris still lap three, so he's five laps behind, unfortunately. He put the soft boots. I think Morin will try to go for another fast lap just to deny the extra points to Sweaty Palms or Mac Oval. This is a good strategy, actually. Denying the guys the the fastest lap because that extra point you know might, uh, might be a big difference also because Moran himself is fighting right now for for a podium finish in the season uh, any extra point he can get will help right so he lost literally 10 minutes in the pits but he's back in. Let's see the time that he can do now with the soft boots. In the meantime, Sweaty Palms just put down a 53.9 and he's going purple again. He's already at the chase and I saw Smoke and Holt a little bit further ahead in the same camera shot. So Sweaty Palms is absolutely on fire here in Mount Panorama. It's going pretty, pretty quick. Lap time is going to be another quickest lap. A 53.7. Sweaty Palms is on fire. This is almost the time that he did in, the, in uh, qualifying with full tank on soft tires. He did a 52 something, wasn't it? Super, super quick. Ovo still in the 54s, but he's at least consistent to 54s. Well, Barry, Barry's made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, this, this is going to be a very long lap for him. You see, he's already at two minutes. Mr. Smurf is right there with him. So, a big mistake from Barry somewhere in this lap. Lost about 15 seconds or so. And that allows Mr. Smurf to close that gap. So we're gonna have another battle here. Stacking Neck is going mental here in the chat. He's also saying he can't do controller no more. Eh, 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 eh. Come on. It doesn't matter if you can't do it or not. At least you would, you would get the points, mate. But truth be told, after uh, playing the controller in GT5 uh, on the PS5 as well with the haptic feedback on the triggers uh, I tried playing uh, GT Sports once and I just can't I cannot play without the, the trigger feedback anymore it's uh, it makes a huge 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 difference uh, meanwhile Mr. Smurf is closing the gap on to Barry and he's already through he's already passed so Barry hit a wall there on the uphill he's picked some damage and he's also also now in the grass in the skyline the car is fixed again, but he lost another 9 seconds in this lap. And Sweaty Palm is already going for an early pit stop. Early pit stop for Sweaty Palms. And Barry losing a position to Mr. Smurf. Is it going to be his first podium? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Ovo also into the pits. Here is a Sweaty Palms Flying Fox racing. That's a new livery, isn't it? I'm quite sure he didn't have this orange livery before and he definitely didn't have that Flying Fox at the back of his car. 
So here he comes out of the pits in P1. Ovo with your Ed here. Uh, Ovo, you might want to put RXGT in, in there perhaps, you know. Promote the official broadcaster of Flat Out Racing League. Just saying. And there we have Mr. Smurf in P3. Oh, so you are on PS4s, uh, yeah, so no haptic, fi haptic feedback except the mouth. Yeah, like the 4D experience making the the engine noises, right? <laughs> are you are you the, the type of guy that also goes with the head to the sides when you are when you are cornering? Uh, my wife sometimes is watching me race, she's like, why are you doing that? It doesn't help you turn, but it's hard not to do that, even, even like back in the Sega Master System, PlayStation 1 days, we still do that. And we have Barry in P4, now trying to chase down Mr. Smurf with Progenitor in P5, so he's got quite a gap to bury, 12 seconds, and uh, he had a 56, there's a good lap time, he's getting faster as well, Progenitor, and then smoking, uh, smoking holds over a minute behind, whoop, I just saw here on the left, Mr. Smurf lost the position to Barry, so the gap wasn't too big, it was uh, about two seconds between them, but Pro Ruby Smurf had a bit of a moment coming down out of uh, Forrest's elbow, and he's coming to the pits now, bit of a mistake on the pit entry, a bit too hot, went into the grass, I wonder if he's gonna get a um, time penalty. But Smurf into the pits, and that's Barry up to P3 again. Yeah, so this race, it's only seven drivers, but it's getting quite exciting now. Uh, a lot of action. Um, maybe not the type of action that some people like. I do like a little bit of carnage, you know, as a commentator. It's nice to see. People in the wall, in people in the wall, gives him more stuff to talk about. But it's no, as a driver, it's not fun to be in the wall. <laughs> but as you guys know, you know here on uh, RXGT on Twitch, you got the sound alerts. So when someone spin, guys, just make sure to use the sound alerts. We've got um, a couple here. If you would like to have new sound alerts as well, do let me know that I can update them in the channel it's all to make the the broadcast a little bit more interactive make make it more exciting for you guys that are watching as well so progenitor is up to p4 when uh, after smurf went to the pits let me look at um ovo and sweaty palm so the lap times was 208 and then 209 so that's the out uh, so that's the in and the out laps about 14, it's about 30, 30 seconds, 30 seconds that he losing the pits here uh, with the uh, refueling and the tire changes. About 30 seconds, so 25 maybe if you uh, if you stop later in the race and uh, don't put too much tire. So Barry now into the pits. It's gonna lose 30 seconds. It's gonna come back behind Progenitor, but that is if Progenitor does not go in. So Mr. Smurf is the danger man for Barry, as we know, so they, they were about 30 seconds apart. There's a chance that Mr. Smurf might come out in front. Let's see if my calculations were correct. So 30 seconds give or take, pl uh, plus 2, minus 2. He's already on soft boot, so uh, lapping a little bit quicker. Barry's already out. Barry is already out as Smurf is coming around the house corner now. And they have a uh, 3 seconds difference, so that was more like a 27, 26, 27 seconds pit stop. 
as the time now stabilizes in 2.8 because uh, Smurf had much more over speed than Barry into uh, the mountain straight. So we still got another battle here that we may see throughout the race between Smurf and Barry. Progenitor still to pit. Smoke and Holt going in now as well. And the two front runners, Ovo and Sweaty Palms, they have already done their pit stops. So Sweaty Palms just had done uh, a fastest lap there of 53.3. And now he's done a 52.9. He's already into qualifying pace. I think the tendency, he might, he might get into the 51s towards the end of the race. Let's see. But he is one fast dude. Very, very fast. Very close to the wall there. There were no sparks, so I think he uh, managed to avoid that one. Here's Ovo coming up the hill. Progenitor is staying out. He's using the maximum there of the fuel, and he uh, he's gapping Barry a tiny bit. The gap is now to 11.7. It was um, almost under 10 before. So Progenitor is uh, doing his homework. Barry in P4 with Smurf right behind in P5. They are very close. Smurf's got a tiny bit less fuel. Tiny, tiny bit less fuel. 210 the last lap from Barry. Uh, I think this is the first fast lap maybe from uh, yeah. So Barry is in his first quick lap after the pit stop. So we don't know his uh, his pace on soft boots. Yeah, Smoke and Holt just done his pit stop. He's doing P6. He's got one lap in one lap there into the 59s but let's see if we can uh, make a few a few more or quicker than that now that he's got soft boots and then Morin that is in his out lap now he put medium tires again to um, for regulation reasons you know both soft and mediums are mandatory for five laps at least each of them the only two tracks where you got exemption from this rule uh, will be the next two rounds in Spa because there is rain forecasted so um, in case it rains you might not be able to use both tire compounds and then uh, Nürburgring as well because you cannot do five levels, the race is less than 10 laps so you cannot do five laps uh, with each tire compound. Progenitor into the pits now. So, of course, Barry is already passed because it was only 10 seconds, Mr. Mor Mr. Smurf as well. But let's see how far back he's going to be. Progenitor might lose less time in the pits now. With, um, with his late, late refueling. So progenitor up in third messes up your Vegas gambling for now, but yeah, don't forget that he had to pit still, mate. There he is back in P5, but 18 seconds off the back of Mrs. Murphy. I think he lost quite a bit of time. I don't remember what, what the difference was before, before the pits. So Yak is batting on Mr. Smurf finishing the podium. Let's see. It can totally happen, it can totally happen. The gap is up to 4 seconds now, so Barry is fighting back. So his pace last lap was 55.7, which is a 56.8 from Smurf. So uh, he's got work to do, he's not going any faster than he was with the medium tires. I'm not sure what's going on. I know that sometimes, you know, especially in GT Sport when you had the super soft tires, depending on the combo, 
the super softs were actually slower. I was doing a race with, um, I think it was an N200 race back in the day. Uh, or no, actually it was a uh, one make with Honda Civic. Uh, still at N N200. And uh, you had uh, all tire compounds available. Some of the guys were running super softs. I was running softs. And uh, believe it or not, I was faster on softs than super softs because at N200 with that little power that they had and in a Tsukuba racetrack, which is very twisty, the super softs, they were way too grippy and uh, they were actually costing me time rather than gaining time, especially on a front wheel drive car like the, the Civic low power like that. I don't think that's the case here. I think in this, the, with these cars and in this track, the, the faster, the, the softer tires will always give you an advantage, but I think there might be situations where it doesn't. I think if we had a race say in a uh, route x that uh pretty much just a straight line long straight line with uh, two huge banked corners uh harder compounds would be better especially if there is tire wear because it would last longer and because there are effectively no corners you don't really need the extra grip from the from the soft compounds there so smurf is losing time Indeed he is, the gap's now up to 6.4, he is not able to go faster with the soft compound. Yak, I think uh, you need to review your uh, review your bats or pray to the night gods here that they uh, do something funny with Barry. But it doesn't look like that, Barry is uh, going quite quick, he's improving his time. Um, yeah, I don't think Mrs. Murf has got much of a chance here. Let's look at the two front runners. We just looked at Ovo and he's picking up some damage in the front and left of the car. But he's got a 52.8 time. That's very, very quick. He's uh, been pretty quick since, since the pit stop. And he's got 53 seconds to bury in P3. So let's say no mistakes. Oh, what? Where did he pick engine damage from? Did he hit a wall and I didn't see? But we have over now with engine damage. Fortune has got 50 seconds to vary, so um, he can even go do a pit stop, fix the car, and he's still gonna come out in front. But any chances of picking up? This man here, Sweaty Palm, the championship leader, are definitely gone now. 27 seconds gap. Sweaty Palms can go in for an extra pit stop if he wants, and he will still come out in front of Ovo like this. 52.6, the fastest lap of the race. That is pretty much qualifying time. The guy is fast, really, really fast. Putting my beautiful NSX at the top of the table. He's going purple again. So he wants to improve his time. Let me just reset the clock on the right. So that's a 52.6 that he's got there. And he was going purple. So you see how worn his tires already are. And he can still go quicker and quicker and quicker. I don't know exactly what they did to the um, tire degradation formula in the 1.20 update I'm not really uh, happy about it because that messes up with strategy now so now now there's no point in uh, pushing the tires uh, pushing their, their their shelf life because their, their shelf life is pretty much almost the whole thing you know even when you get down to 70% worn tires they're still fairly quick you don't really have to stop to, to change. So I think um, this means that stints will be longer and longer. They'll be now dictated by fuel rather than by uh, tire, tire life. But that's my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about the new uh, 1.20 changes um, 
tire degradation uh, formula. We have a yellow flag here. Summon spun in health corner. Let's see. Sweaty Palm's gonna get past him now. Can we see who he was? That was Progenitor. I think it was Progenitor. Or was it... I cannot see who is who. He could have been Morin as well because he's uh, right in front. But none of them have damage to the car. And because now they're being lapped, it's a bit tricky to know who's who uh, just looking at the map. But, but Sweaty Palms just put in a lap on Progenitor, who's in P5. Yak saying that he's surgical. Yes, he is. Not messing around at all. He wants that championship. He wants that top one prize. Prize is kindly provided by GTR Simulator, the sponsor of Flat Out Racing League Season 1. If you don't know GTR, uh, GTR Simulators, go check them out. They make some amazing um, rigs and uh, wheel supports and all the shebang. They do have uh, motion rigs as well. Uh, I think they're only compatible with PC though. But they do have motion rigs. Check them out. Uh, if you haven't yet, uh, because it's very nice to have someone of their caliber here sponsoring uh, our debut season, Flat Out Racing League uh, Season 1. So Sweaty Palms now catching up with more and he's going to the pits again. He's gonna put soft tires one more time. I wonder. Uh, why he's stopping again and we know that his race is pretty it's, it's, it's ruined already after the, those 10 minutes that he lost at the start yes here he comes yes he's changing tires again and out okay so he will try he will try to beat sweaty palms uh lap time he's got two laps to do that because Sweaty Palms is already in lap 20. Lap 20 out of 22. This is actually passed quicker than I thought. Uh, very quick race today. Smoke and Hose gonna get fifth. Uh, no, Progenitor is still one minute behind, one minute in front. But that would have been cool. That would have been cool to get Smoke and Hose in the top five, regardless of the circumstances top five is a top five no one's gonna remember how you got there they're just gonna remember that you got there just look at how many titles Schumacher's got how many of them were won by pushing people off track or cheating with illegal parts in his car no so no one cares about that no one remembers that especially the young folk they just remember how many titles he's won anyway back to the race sweaty palms leading from start to finish untroubled from turn one with Matt Kovo in P2. Although there had another moment there in lap 17 with a 205 lap. Oh yeah, that's when he hit the wall, wasn't it? And uh, damaged the engine. And he just clipped the wall again. Uh, there the dipper. Picked up some damage in the front and the right of the car. He's got plenty of gap the front and the back I don't think he, um, that's gonna hurt his time too much Barry is going purple okay that's interesting can Barry uh, steal the show perhaps he's coming down oh no he's, he's blue back to blue now so let's watch that he's pick he's catching up with someone purple car I think that was uh, the smoke and halt so, if you can get a little bit of slip there from Smoke and Holt, he might be able to get the, the fastest lap. Smoke and Holt's gonna put it aside, perhaps. Very not flashing the lights. He's using the slip there. Still with the blue time. Smoke and Holt not giving way that easily. get past the chase into Murray's corner can Barry get fastest 
lap. He goes on the inside, smoking hold opens, not to block the way. The time is, no, he lost way too much time there in that um, last sector. Barry's not going to be happy about that, but as you say here in Japan, Shogunai. Shogunai is something like, uh, nothing we can do, deal with it, is, it is what it is. There's a very, very interesting word that I learned here. Uh, it's, very, it's got a lot of uh, interesting uses. Mr. Smurf, unfortunately, unable to challenge Barry for the podium. It's not going to be today for Mr. Smurf. He's not going to get his first podium here in Flat Out Racing League, but that P4 is solid for him. With Progenitor in P5, going a little bit off track there. Well, careful, mate. Almost got the wall there. It's already final lap for him because there are a few laps behind. Let's go with our race leader, Sweaty Palms. He's been leading this race from start to finish. No troubles whatsoever for this man. Comes in the upper hill. He's got the fastest lap as well. Maybe more and would we'll try to... Um, we we'll try to steal that from him, but I don't think he's got enough time for that. Uh, Yak saying there a special shout to Smoke and Holt. The man's 100% true gentleman. Yes, yeah, very nice of him to, 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 to stick around, you know, not giving up despite being lapped, despite being always at the back of the pack. This is how you, um, this is how you get better, you know, just keep pushing yourself. And what I was talking about, tires, look at uh, Sweaty Palm's tires, and he's still able to lap at 53 with the tires in those conditions. Back in the previous version, you would be like two or three seconds over your, uh, your ideal lap time, but he's only half a second um, over after the updates. But there he comes, Sweaty Palm's one corner left between him and another win extending the championship lead pretty much guaranteed to take the crown here sweaty palms takes the win in round eight of flat out racing league amateur division in mount panorama there he is sweaty palms no challenge for him in this race back over now coming down the chase to take p2 Fuel on the absolute limit there for him. Here he comes. This extra points are gonna be very helpful for him in the battle for the silver medal in the championship. Here he comes to take P2, Mac Ovo in the GTR, and Barry. I've still got a little bit of time to go. Progenitor already crossed the line in P5. Moran crossed in P7. He improved his lap time to 53-0, but not able to cha challenge um, Sweaty Palms' fast lap. Barry coming down the chase. And he's gonna get that sweet, sweet podium. So Barry should stay within podium still, uh, still in the top three in the season with his P3, but he's gonna be he's gonna be ahead of Morin again, but probably behind Ovo. We're gonna see the standings uh, later in the week. And here comes Mr. Smurf, the last one to cross the finish line. Takes P4, great result for him as well. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. That's round eight of Flat Out Racing League, and the win goes to Sweaty Palms. That's the win, the pole position, and the fastest lap. Doing the whole um, hat trick here today. Well done, Sweaty Palms, and extends his advantage in the championship. That is it, guys. Thanks for joining us today for Flat Out Racing League Amateur Division. 
We're going to go for a quick break and then we're back. We have the pros. My name's Kurt Daniger. I was your host today. Thanks for joining us here and I see you guys in just a few minutes with the pros. Introducing RS30 Ultra. The first sim racing wheel and pedals designed by a professional championship racer. RS30 brings next level realism to your racing sims. Sense the road, know your vehicle, and get faster lap times as you tear through the track. Dual helical gear motors give you more torque than traditional gear drive motors with the same smoothness and quietness of a belt drive motor. Experience a stunning 6 newton meters of torque, the most torque per dollar than any other wheel, and fast, accurate feedback with zero dead zones. Feel every nuance and know exactly when you're understeering, oversteering, or losing traction. Spring-loaded pedals give you responsive throttle modulation and brake progression for absolute control and precision, just like the real thing. Two additional pedals can be used as clutch and e-brake, or as pedal-free throttle and brakes. A rotation switch lets you easily toggle between simulation racing and arcade-style racing. Even the diameter of the wheel is calibrated to exact race car specifications. From the metal build to the suede wheel and steel pedals, every detail is dialed to give the entire system a high-end feel. Get better, go faster, win more, and enjoy every second of it. With RS30 Ultra, you'll race like a pro and feel like one too. RS30 Ultra by GTR Simulator. Go fast.